Hello learners, welcome to Ahmed Coaching and I'm your teacher Dr. Anam. Today we will study about chromosomal abnormalities. They are elongated structure which are present in the cell during the cell division. So what are the chromosomal abnormalities? Chromosomal abnormality is actually a disorder which is characterized by a morphological. Morphological means structural or its shape or numerical alterations numerical mean the number of chromosome it may increase or it may decrease so any change in its structure or in its number is known as chromosomal abnormality and now this change it can occur in a single or in multiple chromosomes moreover this change it can affect autosomes or sex chromosomes or both chromosomes the sex chromosomes are x and y chromosome while rest of the chromosomes they are autosomes we know in human there are 23 pair of chromosomes out of 23 pair of chromosome one pair of chromosome is sex chromosome while 22 pair of chromosomes they are autosomes so first of all let's talk about morphological or structural chromosomal aberrations or abnormalities there are four types of structural chromosomal abnormalities the first one is duplication in case of duplication a particular segment of chromosome is duplicated in this case it was present once but when it is duplicated it is present twice and because of this duplication the structure of chromosome is changed and the information it stored is also altered or changed in second case it can be deletion as the name indicate a particular segment of chromosome is deleted because of which some information is missed and as the information is missing so that the characteristics which they were controlling the third type of chromosomal aberration or abnormality is inversion. In this case, the DNA sequence, they are reversed or they are changed. For example, here it was 1 and 2. When inversion takes place, it will be 2 and 1. So this is how the information is changed. The fourth chromosomal abnormality is translocation. Location means place and trans mean that place is changed for example we have two chromosomes and this part of these chromosomes is exchanged with each other so this part goes here and we have this here and this part it comes this way and we have this and this is going to cause a change in the information stored in the chromosome so this is why this is called translocation and these four types of chromosomal aberration or abnormalities are known as morphological or structural chromosomal abnormalities. Along with this, we also said that autosomes is also included in the chromosomal abnormality. So in case of autosomal chromosomal abnormalities, the autosome number it may increase or it may decrease. We know that autosomes are 1 to 22 pair of chromosomes while the 23rd pair of chromosome is actually the sex chromosome so in case of down syndrome we see that 21st chromosome is extra everywhere it should be two chromosome but in case of down's syndrome we have one extra 21st chromosome and because of this chromosomal abnormality takes place and down syndrome takes place Similarly, the sex chromosomal abnormalities, they also take place in which the number it may increase or it may decrease. In case of line filter syndrome, here we can see that we have this X and X chromosome. But along with this, we have this Y chromosome which is extra. So here we have an extra sex chromosome and this is why we are observing another chromosomal abnormality known as line filter syndrome. Similarly, if one sex chromosome is missing, we will observe another chromosomal abnormality which is known as Turner's syndrome. So here we can see that all these are the autosomal chromosomes until 22 and here the sex chromosome 1 maybe X or maybe Y chromosome is missing. So it is going to lead to the Turner syndrome. So this is how 
the chromosomal abnormalities are taking place so that was our lesson on chromosomal abnormalities if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section i will see you in the next video